Today in our little series of short instructional videos of the assistance exercises, we're going to talk about the stiff leg deadlift. This is a popular light day movement for pulling and its primary purpose is to just add a little bit of volume to your pulling work. And unlike the RDL with which it is often confused, the stiff leg deadlift actually starts on the floor. So it starts with a concentric movement like a regular deadlift finishes at the top and then is lowered under control, uh, usually for sets of five with weights that will by definition be sub-maximal. Chase Lindley is going to describe this for us today, demonstrate it, I should say. He's not, you might notice he's not describing anything. He's just demonstrating, all right? So he's gonna take his standard deadlift stance, which is the barbell over the middle of the foot. He's going to, assume this standard deadlift grip, but instead of dropping the knees forward as you would in a regular deadlift until the shins touch the bar, the shins stay vertical, the chest is lifted to the greatest extent possible, and then the bar comes up in the air and it finally meets the leg at the thigh right above the knee. Again, set of five. There can be some slop in his low back position as he starts the set. Usually this will improve as the hamstrings tighten, uh, up, as the hamstrings get warm rather. And essentially we're doing a deadlift here without the benefit of the quadriceps starting the barbell off the floor. The standard pull begins with an initial quadricep extension that pushes the barbell away from the floor. The stiff leg deadlift omits this, and that's why it's uh, maximal. Once again, the stiff leg deadlift is an assistance exercise for use in adding pulling volume. Thanks for watching.